Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Today's video is an interesting story time. So the story I'm telling happened exactly a year ago on um, New Year's Day or the day after New Year's. And I was thinking back about that moment and I thought I'm just going to do a funny story time sharing the experience that I had on January 2nd, 2022, which was literally a year ago. So grab your popcorn, it's going to be an interesting video. <clears throat> Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're returning and welcome if this is your first time. My name is Onase and I make videos about education, career, personal growth and faith. So coming into the year 2022, which we've just come out from, I was very, very excited. I, I think as I usually am about transitioning into a new year. And, you know, I was so excited that I just wanted to dance, had all this energy that I wanted to release. So I remember that um, New Year was on Saturday and then on Sunday was the day after New Year, which was the second. And I was going to go to church for thanksgiving and I, like i said i was so so excited i wanted to come with my dancing shoes and i wanted to come looking correct because i was like it's the start of the year i'm gonna give god my best and so on new year's day in the evening i was so excited so i'm like i'm going to prepare because i want to go really really early to church i want to get a good seat um i want to just yeah i just wanted everything to go smoothly and all so the day before i decided i was going to wear a dress that i had like a really nice dress that had a vavavum to it i'm going to put pictures of that dress so i previously worn the dress about once or twice and i had the dress made by my tailor in nigeria and so i was like yeah i haven't worn this dress in a while it's a bit you know it's a bit too much like too much is going on on this dress but i'm going to wear it because like i said it's the first sunday of the year right so i said okay since i haven't worn this dress in a while and i had it like custom made i said i'm going to get it out iron it i'm going to make sure that the seams are all in place like i said i'm going to do my due diligence in preparation for this new year i brought out the dress um the night before um i ironed it and then when I was ironing it, I was checking through like the seams to see that the dress was still very much intact and I could wear it. And as you can see from the pictures, it's a long flowing dress. And um, you can see that they've sewed it together at some point, like the, the top and the bottom has been attached together. And so I was checking through that and I found like a few loose, loose threads, which I sewed back in. I haven't got like bobby pins. Is that what they're called? No, not bobby pins. I got safety pins and to put in to use with on the dress so there's a part of the dress the the what's it called the sleep part of the dress i wanted to use a safety pin to pin a section of it and so i brought out my safety pins i said just in case i might need more so i ironed the dress picked my shoe did everything so sunday comes i'm going to church I'm going to church on time you know things are going according to plan up until it wasn't so i was doing my makeup that sunday morning I'm getting ready to go to church and I was drinking drinking protein shake. I think it, I think it was a protein shake I was drinking and I had the cup on the table where I had my makeup items that I was using. And next thing I know, the protein shake spills on my makeup and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm trying to be on time and I'm literally on time and I do not want to be delayed. And it spills on my brush and had it spilled on the brush that I had not yet used. And so, you know, like if me, if, um, something wet spills on a brush if the brush is wet your makeup wouldn't be as effective because it was a powder brush it was not supposed to be wet but i'm like you know what nothing's going to dampen my spirits today i am going to church on time and i'm going to have this like a swell time so i managed with the makeup brush clean the table i mean bit. just things just fell all over the place when um, the protein shake spilled cleaned the table as much as i could on the floor continued my makeup managed with the so I only had one powder brush, so I managed with the powder brush, the wet powder brush. I did everything okay. I had laid everything I was going to put in my bag and everything I was going to use on my bed. And so as I was, you know, getting ready to head out of the house, I put the things in my bag and I went off. I get to church on time, which is a big win. A big win, okay? Punctuality is a big win. And so I got to church in, in a decent time. I got seated. I sat beside a friend of mine. And honestly, I had so much excitement, so much joy. And I just wanted to let that out. And then worship starts during the service. And for some reason, like clockwork, I just put my hand to my bum. Like put my hand to my behind. And I noticed that 
I could feel my inner tight and I was just like wait what's going on then I realized that the seams of the dress that I had sewed the day before checked was in order and I had ironed the day before was coming off the, the threads were loose at the seams and it was coming off and so the so the space between the top and the bottom part was ripping I'm like okay and so I was wearing a black tight but if you weren't looking you wouldn't have seen it but if you were looking for a start beside behind memory looking at like that that part of my body you probably could have told that you probably could have been able to tell that something wasn't adding up I was like okay nothing's gonna that happen my joint today no problem I told my friend follow me I had come with safety pins or so I thought I told my friend I was sitting beside me follow me to the bathroom please um, after um, at some point in worship but I didn't also want to disturb her so I was mindful of that so at some point I told her could you please follow me to the bathroom to help me um, pin the safety pin to my dress so my friend and I we go to the bathroom she helps me pin it I thought it was going to stay we come back in worship is still going on and I think we had a guest minister I think it was someone from was it Maverick City we had a guest mister and the music was fab. It wasn't Maverick City, someone from the US, but it was Maverick City. I'm mean, a guest mister from the US. And then we go back, worship is still going on. And I'm just like, I want to focus on this moment and focus on God and just focus on, you know, just focus on enjoying this moment and capturing this moment. I'm not being interrupted by my dress and we're worshiping. And then I noticed that the safety pin had come off and I'm just like, oh my God, are you, are you kidding me? And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not trying to be out here half naked at church. So what am I going to do? So um worship ended around that time. So we sat, thankfully, we sat down, we sat back down, and I started to think, and then the message was going to start shortly, and I really, really wanted to focus. And so I started to think, oh mom, like what am I going to do? Because after like the message, after everything, we're gonna do Thanksgiving and I want to dance. But how am I going to dance with this dress that is coming off at the seams? What am I going to do? Mind you, I have no experience in tailoring. Like, no experience that counts for anything. I, I'm not a fashion designer or anything. And I was just there, sat thinking, oh my God, the seam of my dress is coming off. And if it comes off, you'll be able to see my tight. What's going to happen? And, you know, I had to just sit, tell my say to myself i'm gonna focus you know on this moment but focus on god focus on the message and not be so worried about the stress and you know sometime between the message starting a message ending or when we would have to get up again i would have a solution so i just tried to refocus my mind in that moment and i'm like nothing is going to rain on my parade not today and then we sat back you know we, we, we sat down and the message was about to start and i just remember making that prayer and just saying holy spirit help me god help me like what what am i going to do you know what am i going to make of this situation i told you like i had i had no plan b i had no i didn't have needle and thread i didn't know what i was going to do how i was going to salvage that other than wearing my coat on my dress thankfully i had a long coat and i was not about to do that in a hot sitting in a hot place i was not about to and i'm like god help me god help me what am i going to do and so the message was going was going on and honestly god came through so as we sat down listening and, and stuff an usher walked past so in, in like a church setting they would have ushers or people that host let's call them hosts that ensure people are seated and things like that well seated you know that they're basically like you know making sure the service is going in order and that you know the congregation are in order and stuff and so an usher passed the female usher and she was wearing a two-piece so she was wearing a um like a boban wrapper i'll pull like an example of it, a two-piece a, a, a blouse with a wrapper tied on it and boom just like light the idea came honestly you're going to go and you need to rip off the the flare part of your dress you're going to rip off the rip off the flare part of this your dress and you're going to tie it as a wrapper this was not a a wrapper this was a full dress i was going to rip it out okay how i don't have a scissors i was going to try my safety pins i don't think it was going to work because other than the parts that were loose the rest were still seam the seams were still intact but the remainder parts of the dress so i'm like Yes, but once I saw the girl and the idea came boom like light, I'm like, this is what I'm going to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, now to execute it. So I think by this time the someone had finished, sort of, yeah. Like someone had finished and we're just like 
been through announcements and stuff before we'd get to the Thanksgiving part. And so I wore my coat and I stood up. I didn't disturb my friend this time because I didn't want to interrupt her, her flow, like in the service or interrupt her content, concentration. So I got up, went to the bathroom by myself. I, I think I tried, but with the safety pin, I could not like rip, rip it out. It was not, the safety pin was not enough to rip the dress out. And I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Because I don't want to destroy the dress. I just want to rip rip out the, the separation and tie it as a wrapper and then I walked out and then I, I saw a woman I think she was a photographer at our church and she had like a bag which used to have utility so that bag was like once I saw her and I saw that bag I'm like hmm there might be a utility in this bag that can help me so I walked up to her and I'm like hi please this is the situation do you have like um, a scissors that I can use because I'm trying to rip out my dress because it's torn and I want to like put it as a wrapper and she's like, oh, sorry, she doesn't have scissors, but she has safety pins. I'm like, I tried safety pins. It's not going to stay, but please, thank you. I'll take them anyway. I'll take any help I can get. This was happening in a hotel. She was like, maybe you can ask someone around. But then there was no one on, on the floor that I was, no um, employee of the hotel that I could ask. So I was like, oh my God, how am I going to do this? So on my way to the bathroom, you will not believe that. As I was going to the bathroom, another friend of mine was coming out of the bathroom. And then as I was seeing her to stop her and say, okay, yeah, follow me to the bathroom, you're going to help me. The lady that had previously told me she didn't have a scissors, or didn't have one on her, had gone to look for a scissors, found one I didn't know, and was running to meet me on the way to the bathroom to give me. So as I was bumping into my friend on the way to the bathroom, and on her way out of the bathroom, the lady also then interjected, like came running and handed me scissors. And I'm like, oh my God, talk about divine timing talk about divine ideas and divine timing so she handed me the scissors i'm like okay my friend come drag, dragged her hand i was like yep yeah, we're going back to the bathroom i need your help and my friend was so surprised she was so amazed at the at what i was willing to do like to rip off my dress like she was she was stunned because it, it seemed so out of character and mind you like i said i'm not a tailor this idea wouldn't have come to me you know because oh i could do it like no honestly so i went to the bathroom with her and literally this is the outfit guys like i showed you in the picture and this is the top of the outfit the part where so this is so if it was a dress this is where i would i would tie it i would cover it and like tie it i don't know if you can see i would do a demonstration but i think that's too much and this was the the beneath of it i don't know what it's called like i told you i don't i'm a fashion designer and so this was the flare part of the dress like I showed you in the picture. And so I went and I gave her the scissors. I'm like, rip it. Just rip it off. And she was looking at me and she was stunned. She was so stunned. The only sad thing is that that day, I did not get a picture of myself in the full dress before stepping out. So the picture I'm showing is an old picture, like when I wore it previously. So I didn't have a picture of myself wearing the dress, the full dress that day, because I was rushing to church to get there in time. So I didn't take a picture. So I took a picture after when I got back. And that's how she ripped it. I'm like, okay, back to the days of when we were, we were schooling at Babcock University. We're tying Boba and Rapa. We're going to tie it to the front and tie it so stylishly. And then she helped me tie it and make sure it was in order. And then the safety pins that I had. So I, I basically used this and I tied it as a wrapper. And then I kept this as the blouse, as I'll show you in the pictures. Then the safety pin that I had and I had gotten from that kind lady, I used them to, um, to cover the bit of the... The wrapper that I had tied, so everything was well put together. And my friend was looking at me like, I am not a minister. Wow, I cannot believe you just did that. I cannot believe you came to church in a one piece and you left in a two piece and you ripped off your dress. I don't know if anyone noticed. And she's like, Oh my god, wow. And I'm like, hmm, I might talk about this on Instagram or something. She's like, please, please do share. Like, this is mind blowing. Like the level of boldness, the idea, the willingness to take risk. And I think most importantly for me, the fact that my emotions, my joy was not affected by all the things that seemed to be going wrong that day. And so I went back into the church. So she helped me. And I still talk about divine help. We went back into the church. I sat down. I don't know if anyone noticed that I came in a flowing gown and I was living in a two-piece. But then we went back and I danced the Thanksgiving away in joy. And then I remember after the service, I'm just, just being around, talking to people, taking pictures like you do in church, just laughing and playing, you know, with people, catching up. One of, one um, auntie at church, one 
auntie. When I said auntie, I just thought about how Nigerians call people auntie. But yeah, one one older woman at church, you know, said to me, "Please, can I take a picture of your your outfit? It looks really, really good. Like of your your look. I want to like get it to my tailor to make for me." And I'm like, you will not believe that I did not come to church like this. That this is not an intentional style. This is basically me salvaging my wardrobe. But it looked so nice. And then she, she took pictures of the outfits. And I was just like, look at God. Look at God. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the story time. Have you had similar experiences of wardrobe malfunction? And how did you navigate that? Share in the comment section below. And guys, as I wrap up this video, I think it's a good place to do some reflections because like I said, this channel is also about personal growth and see what lessons that, you know, that experience taught me and what I'm taking from it. And I realized that life will sometimes throw us curveballs and, you know, you can control what you can and you can control how you react to the things that are out of your control. I think I should repeat that, yeah? Control what you can and choose to control how you react to the things that are out of your control. So the curveballs that happened that they were out of my control, you know, it happened or something I could do about it. But how I reacted, I could have sobbed, which is fair, you know, cry if you want to. I, it would have been a, you know, a valid response. I could have sobbed and then been, been bitter the rest of the day and miss out on that experience, that joyous experience. But in that moment, I had so much boldness and courage, you know, and confidence to, you know, say, God, help me through this. And I noticed that I, I was able to keep my joy through that. And honestly, I think that's one of the biggest flex from, for, um, for me from that story was that my joy was not dampened by the circumstances of the curveballs that they did, um, threw at me. And I think that's an important thing that we can aim for going forward, that some things will be disappointing sometimes. Some, there'll be some curveballs. But just keeping a confident, joyous approach to things. So, like I said, guys, please, in the comment section below, let me know if you've had any wardrobe malfunctions or any other life curveballs that, you know, has come your way and how you've navigated that. I look forward to reading your responses and replying as well. Till I come your way next time, you know what you have to do. You have to like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel at Honestel Webber, and I have more content coming your way this year. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next.